Oh yes guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily clone Zerion and get all of this data, all of the transactions fully decoded, fully human readable in your own app. And let me show you an app that I quickly built here using Morales that basically mimics the exact Zerion. Now, obviously the styling is not as good because Zerion is a production app. This app, I just did in a few hours just to demo to you. And all in all, if you look here, we have the same kind of things uh, in our website, which I run on local host using my own data, which I will soon show you how to use. For example, here is the mint, here is this mint. We also have more data because, for example, Zeron is missing this transaction on Polygon that the same address has. I'm using the same address in both. We have this uh, swap, which is uh, here. You have this approval, which is here. You have this mint, which is here. Here, Zeron is missing the logo. You get the logo from Morales APIs. And so if you just compare the different walls, you see it's basically the same. But what you get here in Morales, which will help you a lot, is number one, SOC 2 compliance. If you're building any kind of application which needs SOC 2 type 2 certifications, then Morales is the way to go. Also, if you look here, we have all kinds of wallets using us. Everything from MetaMask to eToro with Delta to Virex and many, many others. So we do have economy of scale, meaning that the infra is cost effective. The price on the API is extremely cost effective due to the fact that we're serving millions and tens of millions of users each and every day if you look at all, all our clients and all our uh, apps that use our APIs. So how can you get this uh, run, uh, running locally? Well, it's super simple. If you look in the description of this uh, video, you will be able to download the demo app yourself. And uh, uh, you go here, let me show you, you go here, uh, you see the prerequisites you need to, number one, uh, have Git on your computer, super simple. Uh, if you're a dev, you probably already have it. You need to have Node.js installed if you're a dev, you probably have it. Uh, then you go to Morales, you get an API key. So if you go to Morales.io and then you sign up, you will come to our admin. And um, here in the landing page, you will see the API key. When you log in, you're going to see the API key right here. So you copy it. Then... Uh, in your terminal, you go to the location of this folder that you downloaded from uh, GitHub and you start the server by doing this, running these three commands. First, you export API key as a variable like this. Then you run npm install and then node.js, node, uh, node on index.js. So that's step one. And then... Uh, you need to have the client running as well. So this is to get the server running and to get the client running, you change the, you open a new terminal, you change directory to client and then you run npm install and then you start as well. So when you have that, you will have basically something like this where, let me show you from scratch. So I have here um, the following situation. I have the demo app downloaded like so. Let me close other terminals. I have the demo app downloaded. And here I'm starting the server. So I need to run, uh, number one, I need to run this export. This is my API key, which I will reset after this video. So <laughs> don't try to steal it. So I do the API key like this, bam, I export it. Then you need to run npm install. I will not run it, but you, you will have to do it because I already did it. npm install, very simple. Let me zoom in a bit. Uh, and then after that, you can run node index.js. And this will start the servers. Now you'll have the server running on, on this uh, local host. I will soon show you the code for it. And then number two, you open up a new terminal here. So I have the server running and then I open a new terminal. I change to client, folder to client. Here, I have all kinds of stuff. You need to run npm install, I will not do it. And then here you run npm start. And so when you run this, what will happen is that we will have our app running like so. And uh, what you're going to see from the beginning, by the way, is not this. From the beginning, you're going to see this. You're going to see all of the different uh, demos we have of the API. But you need to go to wallet. And here you can enter the address. Here's the address that I just showed you previously. And uh, it's going to show you all kinds of things, including the overview of the address, the tokens, the token holdings. And then if you go to history, you're going to see what I just showed you before. Uh, and, oh, by the way, you need to go here to Zerion. So you get a Zerion style. Uh, you can see it Zapper style. This is how Zapper uh, does it. You can see it Uniswap style. And basically, whatever you, whatever portfolio you want to clone, it's already cloned here. So you, you can get all of the data straight into your own app, like with all of the metadata and so on and so forth. 
and obviously you can style it way better this is just a demo app you can style it to to uh, make it even better than Zerian and other uh, portfolio apps and so let me show you a bit how that works so if you open up the code and you go to API, here is all of the magic in this API folder and each of these files shows you which endpoints are called. So here, for example, we, we have the base URL here. This is the Morales API. And then, for example, you have the wallets uh, endpoint. And um, then for, uh, uh, let's see here if I can zoom out. You have wallets endpoint. Then if you go to NFTs, you have slash NFT endpoint. If you go to tokens, you have slash ERC20 endpoint and so on and so forth. And all of these endpoints, and you can obviously dig deeper into how all of this is called and parsed and so on and so forth. But all of these endpoints you can also find if you go to the Morales account, and then you go to Web3 APIs, and then you go to documentation and you view API reference. You can see all of them here in Wallet API. So for example, Wallet History, it is this one. And you get the full reference with all of the parameters, all of the uh, all of the response, uh, very, very in detailed uh, specified uh, you can get native transactions only or you can get your 20 tra transactions only you can get wallet net worth super easy you can get wallet balance super easy you can get uh, nfts uh, details about all kinds of things here nft api is fully separate api where you can go very very deep as well and uh, i encourage you to explore all of this and the best way to explore is to actually use this demo app uh, this demo app, by the way, is also uh, available as a, a live demo app. So you can run it locally in localhost. You can also run it live. You, you can actually see it here in the uh, in this uh, GitHub. If you scroll down, you, you have here view a live demo. So you can open it up uh, as a live app. Uh, so uh, the best way, so coming back to exploration, the best way to explore is just to click around in this uh, application. So for example, let's say you want, um, e you want ENS support. Uh, it works. So you can write vitalik.eth, check wallet, and then you can see in the code of this demo app how this is resolved and how we figure out Vitalik's wallet and how we can show all of the details and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's that. Uh, then also here, you have the DeFi positions. This is quite cool because you have all of the uh, DeFi positions regarding lending, staking, uh, liquidity providing, and so on and so forth. So this is all possible with our APIs. And I'm literally running this on my local host. And you can try with any address. That's the best thing. You can click switch address. You can try your own address, see how that, uh, how that looks. You can um, then, outside of wallet uh, info, you, all, you can also get the uh, token info. So for example, looking at a specific token, let's say we look at Chainlink. You get all kind of information about the Chainlink token with uh, activity, holders, uh, holder insights, uh, for example, how many whales holding it, what common tokens the whales have, and so on and so forth. So you can really build out a fantastic app where viewers of your app, users of your app can explore the crypto market. Uh, NFT marketplace, let's say you want to build some kind of NFT use case, uh, you can find it here as well. Mm, trending collections, top collections by market cap, all of the metadata. So by exploring this application, which you hopefully now run locally, if you need any help, go to forum.morales.io, by the way. But by exploring this application, you have this fantastic, fantastic resource and uh, you can build whatever you want. This is basically a tool that allows you to catch up to incumbents like Zapperfy or Zerian uh, very quickly. If you want to build something similar or add this functionality into your app, this is a very powerful tool that allows you to be on the same level without reinventing this wheel from scratch because this kind of tech, doing it from scratch, it is a lot. You need a full data team, you need to run the data pipelines, you need to run ETL, like it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, especially on EVM chains where indexing is needed for everything. So the best thing is obviously to use an API like Morales and you know that Morales is number one, SOC2 compliant, number two, used by the biggest applications. So it is battle tested. And uh, number three, super easy to get started with because you literally download this repository, you run it, you have everything locally in a millisecond. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you like it. See you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.